Hello again. Welcome to another Tech for Lecturers tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit essay type questions in a Moodle quiz. So as you can see, I have 868 attempts for this quiz. I'll click on, on the attempts. Once the page loads, I'll scroll down to the bottom to show you what it looks like. So as you can see, all of these attempts are not yet graded. The reason is, although multiple choice, true or false, and other question types have been graded, there are essay type questions which still need to be manually reviewed by the lecturer. So in this case, I'm going to show you how you can do that. I'll scroll back to the top and click on the gear icon. Under results, you can see where it says manual grading. Click on manual grading. This will take you to a list of all the questions that need grading. So as you can see, these are all the questions that would require grading. So I'll start with um, the cost of living question and I'll just click on grade. This takes me to a page where I can see all of the attempts from the different students. As you can see, there are 95 attempts that need to be graded and you can change the number of questions that you have per page by adjusting it here. I'll just leave it as it is and I will scroll down. If you want to order the attempts alphabetically, you can change that here. You can change by student first name, last name, student ID number, or by date. I'll leave it as randomly. Then I'll scroll down, and here is the first student. This student did not even enter anything, so if I wanted to grade this, I'll just put a zero. Then when I scroll down, Here's the next student. Again, they did not enter anything, so that's a zero. Well, this is understandable because this was a demo exam, and most of these students did not enter anything. But for your students, most likely, they would have entered text here, which you can then come and look at and review. Then you can give them an appropriate grade. Once you have graded this, the changes should reflect in the gradebook, and the students will be able to see their marks if you have allowed them to receive feedback. But if you have not allowed them to receive feedback, then they will not get the grade. I hope this was a helpful tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. And if you would like other tutorials on Moodle or lecturing online, please feel free to leave them in the comments below this video on YouTube. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your day. Be blessed.